Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at a Moscow, Russia, fast. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Alright, get through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? You ready? Alright, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Just misses there with the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, yeah, right there. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. 
Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands through the middle. clip. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice high kick. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. And clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Huge block there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. there by Lee. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Nice punch, man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Yo, you ready? You ready? Round two on the way. That was a thudding leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Left hook counter there yet again. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
big head kick land. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Circling towards the left now. What a tricky head kick. Left hand punch from the clinch. Lee gets hit with a kick. Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Real nice body kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go. Unable to land with that punch. Nice punch. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Got the turnover in that kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice straight punch. Oh, big head kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good night if that landed. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Gets caught with that punch. 20 seconds to go. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they're fighting behind the real well. And they separate. Nice counter shot there. Nice hit, kid. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, 
just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. with the left punch there. Tags him with the uppercut. Just unable to quite find that range. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just out of range with the big right hand. Hands with the right hand. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork. Missed with that attempt. Able to check the high kick. Liver kick. Came of inches right there, boy. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Effective strike there by Lee. Beautiful head kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, that's a good right hand. Trying to kick the leg out. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Final seconds of round three. Head kick lands. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there is the end of the round. Some serious liver damage doled out there, and not because of alcohol, just a pinpoint strike that buckled his opponent, nearly got him out of there. He's so accurate, and he's so good at finding that sweet spot, that spot that really does usually end the night of your opponent. He's a fantastic performer, and he's doing a great job tonight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good punch. Just misses with the jab. Beautiful body kick. Left hook to the head. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Now connects with a right. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Head kick attempt, gets blocked. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big head kick. Misses again with a right punch. He is blocked. Very significant well to the left side. Ooh, what a punch. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Plans the right hand. Nice kick. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. Big body kick. Man. He was hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, big left. Under two minutes now to go. Liver kick, if you hit those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Checks that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, to get back to work. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Punch over the top. Single collar tie now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. 
telegraph that spinning back fist. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Final seconds of round four. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, that's a nice strike. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Good stick. Defense. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a performer very fast. Oh! He's done. He's done. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh! So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's in the Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice liver shot, Williams. Slip to avoid that right hand. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt right back. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Fighters back to their feet here. Big kick land. One minute to 
go in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful kick. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. 20 seconds to go in the fight. What a head kick. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Big kick. Lands a switch knee. What a fight! Well, don't leave it in the judges' hands. A little bit easier said than done. Competitive, close fight. You gotta lean either way. I mean, it is horrible when you walk back to the center of the octagon not knowing exactly who won the fight. I thought he won a lot of the striking exchanges, but it wasn't very clear. So it'll be interesting to see who gets the decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, the fast. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision. Ah! All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed.